and welcome back to Learning Kids Two. I'm back with some more information related to animals, and today's topic is decomposer and detritivore. So let's have a go. So the question is, what exactly decomposer and detritivore are? And the an answer to this question is, decomposers. Are microorganisms that you can say that you can see by using a microscope. Whereas detritivores are very small organisms that you can sometimes see on soil, like beetles. The next question is, what do decomposers and detritivores do? And an answer to this question is, they help. The environment and the soil to get back the nutrients. Next question is, what are these nutrients? And an answer to this question is, nutrients are chemical elements that all plants and animals, including human, require for growth. And examples of nutrients are. Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, water, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and many more. Next question is: How do the plants and animals get their nutrients for growth and development? And an answer to this question is: Plants get their nutrients from the soil. Air, water, and sunlight. Herbivorous animals get their nutrients by eating plants, water, and oxygen. Carnivorous animals get their nutrients by eating other animals, water, and oxygen. Omnivorous animals get their nutrients by eating plants and animals, both. Water and oxygen. Scavenger animals get their nutrients by eating dead and decaying plants and animal material. Water and oxygen. If you want to know more about these animals, please check my channel Learning Kids Two and watch all four videos. Human is also an omnivore, so they also get their nutrients by eating. Plants and animals food. But now let's discuss about decomposer and detritivore. In the same way, decomposer and detritivore are also living organisms and get their nutrients by eating dead plants, dead animals, including animal and human feces. Here, feces means poop. Yuck. These feces have a lot of undigested materials and work as a nutrient for them. But after eating, decomposer and detritivore break down the food in original form, which we call chemical elements. We have already discussed these chemical elements in a question: What's called nutrients? And these elements again mix in soil, released in air, and again ready to be absorbed by plants. So in this way, the same basic elements moving from one organism to the other organism, but only decomposer and detritivore have the ability to break them up in. Original form. That's why they are very important for balancing ecosystems. Here is one more question: What's the difference between decomposer and detritivore? And an answer to this question is: Detritivores break down their food in original form through internal digestion. Process examples of detritivores are earthworm, beetles, 
millipede, sea cucumber, wood lice, etc. On another hand, decomposer breaks down their food using biochemical reactions. In this process, they break down the tissue of dead and decaying materials externally. Examples of decomposers are fungi and bacteria. You can see fungi and bacteria impact on your old food, vegetables, fruits, even at your home. Even you can find detritus so easily at your garden soil, like earthworm, beetles. And at last, one interesting fact. The word detrivore is derived from the word detritus, which means garbage. That's why they are also called detritivore. Detritivore is another name for detrivore. So that's all for this video. Do take care of yourself and please press the like and subscribe buttons and if you hope this is informative, please share your feedback in the comment box below. Bye!